This is the Sonoran Desert in Phoenix, Arizona. It is hot and it is dry. Believe it or not, there is water all around us. Do you see it? It's over there. It's over there. It's actually water vapor or moisture in the air. How cool would it be if you could take that moisture and turn it into clean drinking water? Well, I found a company here in Phoenix that claims that they can do exactly that. Hey, Cody. How you doing, Ross? Hey, good to see you. Yeah, you too. So I'm super intrigued by this product that you've come up with, right? That takes solar energy and converts it into clean drinking water. How do you guys do it? Yeah, so the first thing you have to understand is dew point. That's the temperature below which water starts to condense out of the atmosphere. Right, right. I mean, I'm most familiar with the window air conditioning unit, right? That you take warm, moist air from the house, put it across a cold coil, and when you do that, you get you know condensation forming. It, it drips right off the coil and drips on your head as you walk by. Right, and if we were to try to make water that way, it takes a lot of electricity, it's really inefficient, and you need high humidity to make that work. Got it. Got and so inside of our panels, what we do is we actually use a special material and a handful of other technologies to raise the dew point up so that water naturally condenses inside those panels and makes a lot of water very efficient. Very cool. So are we installing a system here? We are. All right, can I see it? Yeah, absolutely, let's, let's go. Do it. All right. All right, so here's the panel we're gonna be installing today. Okay. And here's one that we've already installed. All right. And as you can see, there's a solar thermal panel and there's an integrated sol solar photovoltaic for electricity. Got it, so this gener generates electricity, this generates the hot air. That's right. Got it, all right. I mean, what a perfect application for solar. You got a flat roof, southern exposure, no shading, and you're on the back side of the house, so aesthetics doesn't play a role because you're obstructed from the street. And so we take all that power, both electric and thermal, and we integrate it back here. Got it. So underneath the panel is where all the magic happens. So we actually pull air up through this assembly here. Okay. And inside of that is a bunch of this material, which is a special material that acts like a sponge. It takes water vapor out of the air mm -hmm. and then very efficiently releases that. When Got you want it. it to. Okay. To make that actually make water, we have a 32-bit microprocessor that's taking information about relative humidity and the power that we have and so on and optimizing to maximize the, the elevation of that dew point. So you have a solar photovoltaic panel that's generating electricity for the whole system. There's no utility power here connected that's whatsoever, right. right? You have a solar thermal panel that's generating hot air. That's what's elevating the dew point of that sponge-like material that you talked about, right? You to release it. that water. Yeah, you got it. Very cool, very cool. All right, so it generates that water, and where does it feed from there? Yeah, into this eight and a half gallon reservoir that actually has an integrated pump, so that actually allows the homeowner to have water pressure from the panel. Got it, so from this, it's being pumped and it's actually going into the house. Yeah, you got it. Got it, so we got two units up here. This one's about to be installed. When it's all said and done, this unit's gonna feed this unit and then this unit feeds the house? That's right, so this is the hub and that's the spoke. Got and it. so if we have two or 10, it's sort of the hub and spokes associated with that got installation. It. All right, I'm excited to install it. We wanna make sure that our panels are mounted to building structure. And so we put down this redwood with lag bolts then we'll mount our base plate to that redwood. Once we mounted the base plate, we can then bring in the panel and put it on the support. And you're pitching the solar collectors to the optimum angle, right? That's right. Once the panel is actually mounted, we'll then connect these lines and bring them back to the hub. The hub reservoir then pumps the water through this 3 h inch line into the house to a tap. In this case, we're gonna attach it to the back of the refrigerator. All right, get that into place. All right, Ross, so now we've run that line down from the roof, and now all the water for this fridge, both for ice and for drinking water, is plumped. All right, can we give it a try? And fill it up. Yeah. Well, Cody, I gotta say, that is some really good water. I mean, it tastes like a high-end bottle of water. Yeah, the panels actually produce absolutely pure water, which wouldn't taste great if you just drank it like that. So we actually engineered a mineral block okay. that brings the minerals up in the water that make it taste great. Wow, awesome. So a roof like this, historically, we've only had two options. The first option was generate electricity with solar, electric, or photovoltaic. The second option was solar thermal, right? Generating hot water, domestic hot water for showers and dishwashers. But now you guys are introducing a third technology to generate clean, safe drinking water. So what type of homeowner should consider this type of technology? There's lots of places in this country where there's where the municipal supply is actually safe, but it doesn't taste great. And so people that are in those places buy filters or buy bottled water, mm -hmm. and which obviously is wasteful and very expensive. Yeah. And then of course you have places like Flint, Michigan, where you know the, there's all that lead in the water. I also see this in the emerging markets, places that don't have access to clean, safe drinking water, and also places that don't have electricity. The fact that you're self-contained and you can generate that clean water with some sunlight, 
It's very impressive. Yeah, the fact that it's infrastructure free means that we've already installed in six countries and we're going to be doing a lot more. Very exciting. Well, thank you, Cody, for the tour. I love seeing your panels and uh, I'm taking the water with you. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. <laughs> I tell you what, you bring us some cool stuff, I'll give you that. So it seems to me that understanding this whole process requires that you understand condensation, because that's, right. that's where the water's coming from. That's right. So generally, we talk about air conditioning, where we have hot air coming across a cold coil. And when you have that hot air across a cold coil with a big differential in temperature, you create that condensation. And it's the same thing with the dehumidifier, right? Because there's a, it's a less cold coil, but we're still making that's a cold right. coil. That's right, but it takes a lot of energy and you're putting all that energy into making that coil cold, mm -hmm. right? So these guys did things a little bit differently. What they did is they said, hey, we'll make the air hotter. Mm -hmm. So to get the differential, they're actually using the solar panel to generate the heat to get more of a differential hot. So no cold coil, but they do have that differential and it's big enough to give them condensation. That's right. And, and so here's the million dollar question, which is, what does that thing cost? How much yeah. water does it make? And is it really practical? All right, so their system is about a couple thousand dollars and it generates a couple gallons of water a day, mm. right? So not a ton of water, but as you get into areas where clean, safe drinking water doesn't exist or it's scarce, it makes a lot more sense. So in Arizona, maybe not your first choice, certainly not your first choice there because we've got great municipal, municipal water. water. Yeah. But as you go into the developing world, maybe it starts to make more sense there. Absolutely, yeah. And so this is Future House, right? So this is a technology that caught my attention. The fact that you can get clean, safe drinking water out of the air, self-contained, no infrastructure, yeah. I mean, it grabbed my attention. And who knows, 10 or 20 years down the road, as the technology gets better, price point comes down, it might be used more often. Yep. All right. Well, like I said, a good story. Thank you.